Welcome to my channel. All right, so today we are going to review the Candyland inspired collection from ColourPop. And this is the Candy Castle palette. We also have the three different lips. Now these are lip balms, they're not lipsticks. So they are very smooth. So we'll go ahead and check those out today. And we will find out if this is a hit or miss. Did I love this or do I wanna throw it in the trash? Hmm, seems like there's strong feelings in this video. I guess you'll have to uh, watch the whole thing and find out why. All right, enjoy guys. on I feel like these aren't as bold as I really want them to be so I'm gonna try putting some studio fix plus on my brush and then dipping back in again and see if I get a little bit of a brighter look all right honestly I feel like that's a mess I feel like it's taking stuff off all right so let's try that again This time we're doing a bit more of a padding motion to see if we can just kind of pack it in there a little bit more and get more pigment. So on the bottom, we're gonna do purple into pink. Okay, so this is the look we got. We have three options for lips. We have a peachy color, a super pink color, and a little bit of a darker color. Okay, so now that we finished the eye, we're gonna go in with Peppermint Frost for the lips. So this is the finished look that we have. So as you can tell, that took me a little bit of work to get this, and even still, this is not the eye look fully that I was going for. I mean, it is, but I just wanted the colors to be a little bit more bright, a little more vibrant. It took a lot of work to get this look so I wasn't really excited about that part of it. Alright so one more time we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look to see how this looks. 
So this is the finished look. I like it, I do, but it just took a lot more work than I was expecting and that was a little bit frustrating. But I do like the finished look. I think it's cute, I think it's fun. It's not something I'd wear every day, but if I was gonna go out with my friends and I wanted a little bit more of a pastel-y like spring, summer look, then this is something that I would make. Or if I'm dressing up for Halloween. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this look off and we'll try for another. I'm a nut, she got pigment. Yeah, she does. with mascara on. The lip we're gonna put on this time is Let's Chill. All right, that is a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> But it's cute, I do like it. So I like this look a little bit better, not just because it was easier to apply. This is more of a look that I would wear as opposed to the other one would be more fun, bold. I don't tend to do pastel-y colors so much, so this is definitely more of something I would wear. Oh man, this lip stuff smells amazing and now I just want like a peppermint candy. Like giving me vibes of I want peppermint candy. Ooh, or peppermint hot chocolate. Maybe it's just cause it's that time of the year. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do one more look with this and we'll see what we get. I'm just gonna touch up those colors a little bit. This is the finished look with mascara. Final lip we have is Mr. Mint. So we'll put that on. Here you go. So this is the last and final look. 
my final thoughts and opinions. As for these three lip colors, I feel like they're very similar. One was a lot more bold and that one was Let's Chill. It's the one that was very pepperminty. The Let's Chill was a little bit brighter. So to remind you, it was... It was this one. So this one's Mr. Chill. So this one was a little bit brighter than the others. I felt like they were all pretty much the same, but they're lip balms. So they're not going to vary very much, except for that one, in my opinion. And my thoughts on the palette. Beautiful packaging, I have to say. Sweet Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. All right, let's try that again. Whoa. Final thoughts on the palette. ColourPop, you got me. You got me. Like, Candyland. That was my jam as a kid. Like, how could I not? Look, like, have you seen this packaging? It's friggin' adorable. I wanted the whole set too. Super glad I didn't buy it because, honestly, the marketing got me. I would not have bought this palette on any other reason. I'm not the type of person to wear pastel colors, and as you can see, that is what this palette is. It is pastels. They're cute. They're pretty. I like this look. It's adorable, but I just feel like they didn't pay off for me. The colors, the yellow wasn't very bright. It was very muted. I understand it's pastel, but you could still have it pay off a little bit better. The green, I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. It was not. The purple was a good color. All in all, I would not say that I'm going to throw this in the trash or anything, but this is not a palette that I am going to really use very much. That being said, there were a couple colors that I actually fell in love with, and I will probably reach for, and that was Lord Licorice, uh, King Candy, Candy Crush was pretty good, and Grandma Nut. Other than that, it's not worth it for me, personally. Uh, if you love pastels and you like a lighter look, then yeah, this could be for you, but for me, it just wasn't something that I would ever buy again. I would not recommend a family member to get because my family members have similar styles that I do. They wouldn't enjoy it. But like I said, if you like light pastels, you like a softer look, then this definitely would be something that you could reach for. But for me personally, liking only three to four of the colors inside the palette was not worth it to purchase the whole palette. I do appreciate the fact that ColourPop is more affordable. Therefore, the money that I spent on this, I do not feel was a waste. I will be able to get some looks from it. I just won't be able to get the exact looks I was looking for. But I have purchased another palette from ColourPop pop that I think might get me a little bit more of what I was looking for so you'll have to stay tuned for that and that one is the Sailor Moon palette so I'm hoping that that one will have more payoff than this one did this one just didn't do it for me sorry if you have made it to the end of this video I want to say Thank you, because I know people's attention spans, you know, can be a little bit short and people don't usually get through videos. So thank you if you did. I truly appreciate that. And I'm not just saying it. I really do appreciate it because I know sometimes I can get distracted and not sit through a whole video. So the fact that you have, I congratulate you. And don't forget to subscribe, like my videos. If you liked it, if you didn't, then you know, that's fine. Everybody has an opinion. You don't have to like it, but I would like it if you do. And hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Until next time, bye.